Right. Yeah. Tatiana, call it on. Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 C can you see us? Oh, hold on. I got a right. suit. Oh. Skype. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Tatiana. Hello. <laughs> How are uh, you? Good. I'm Javier. I'm Danny. And I'm Mike. Thank you. Thank nice you so much. You. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to join us today. Yes, thank you. No, thank you for, for the invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Ta Tatiana, for those that don't know, that are, that, are, that are watching right now and don't know, is um, a FIA Formula 3 Europe European Championship driver, which is one of, the, one of the feeder series for Formula 1. And, and above all that, she is Colombian, and I'm very <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> yes, sure you are. Tatiana. Thank you again. Thank you so much for, for joining us. We want to talk about a big, big thing that's that's uh, been the talk recently uh, in, in the Formula One circles, and it's women in F1. I, 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 I saw like, that one coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no introductions or nothing. I mean, I, I, we, we, we'll get to your uh, to, to how you're doing right now in, in, in F3, but I, I want to cut right to the chase because I know that you are you, you're not a supporter of uh, what Bernie Ecclestone is saying, uh, that there should be a separate championship for women. Off the top, neither am I. <laughs> Oh, that's that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what's your yeah, view on no, that? Definitely, I think, of course, is uh, you know I've I've raised my whole life against against boys, and I don't see really a need for a diff for a Formula One female championship because I think you know we have um, uh, we can compete against the best and. Uh, and I don't see why we need a different championship. I mean, no. to get to Formula One, it's difficult uh, for anyone. For anyone, absolutely. For females. Yeah. Um, you know, there's only 20 places available, and and you gotta be really good. You have to bring a lot of money, so it's uh it's difficult for everyone, and that's why I think you know it's uh it's not worth trying to to make another championship as well because I don't think there's that many uh, girls driving yet and and if I have learned something from from racing in the for Formula 3 in the FIA European Championship is that you gotta compete against the best to to get the best out of you and and to be better mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think that the level uh, if, if we get a Formula 1 Championship for, for females will be that high so we wouldn't be prepared anyway. <laughs> That's a beautiful attitude to have uh, for some, like you really challenging yourself uh and, and just being the best, right? And that's sort of what it's about. I, absolutely. And you know what? I, I agree completely uh, with you. I mean, I think we, we, we all do. Uh, I think it's only like the older folk, uh, the, the people that are really in power in F1 right now that don't really see it that way. But as far as I'm concerned, um, if you've made it to that, like to, to even the, the, feeder, the feeder series like you have, um, as soon as you get in the cockpit and put the helmet on, everybody's the same. And then you just let your skill do the talking. Right. And yeah. that's, that, that's how it should be. And I think Bernie's out of touch in a lot of different ways. But. Well, absolutely. But. Now, um, uh, Tatiana, I, I, I watched a couple of your interviews uh, before. And, I, and I, <laughs> I, one thing that I, that, that I know that you've been quoted uh, as saying a couple of times is that you want to be the first woman in F1. <laughs> um, um, yeah, in, in a, you know, it's been so long until, uh, you know, since a, a, a girl was, was racing in, in Formula One. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to get at, because uh, uh, even if you do, well, and actually, when you do get to F1, you'll find that there's been three women ahead of you. So you'll be the fourth woman in F1. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's just... Uh, <laughs> Um, the first one in modern yeah. times, for sure, since the '60s or whatever. Uh, the last, the last girl that was in F1, the last, the last woman was uh, Lilla Lombardi, and she scored a half a point, a half a point in one race. How do you get a half point I, if the if the race ends uh, oh, early? Yes. <laughs> 
But every point counts. <laughs> every, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, half a point is half a point. And and actually, you know, you know what? And now that I'm talking about that, um, I was actually reading an article on uh, the Bleacher Report, which is a, an F1 blog, and they said that uh, that that you are going to be the next Lila Lombardi. That you are actually going to make it to F1, and not only make it to F1, but actually score some points. And 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 that's what, that got me really really excited. And again, you, I mean, I I, I want to congratulate you a lot uh, because I've uh, I've looked into your career and uh, you've you've done things that I mean, for <laughs> most uh, to, to begin with, I mean, most racers like most people get into into single seater categories. Like, I, I I don't know to like to what level of uh, uh, of commitment they they, they want to take it, but you started in karting at what age nine. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you research very well. <laughs> <laughs> and and since then, like you, you've just been going up and up and up through the categories, and uh, and 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 kept going. And 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 the last year, uh, you finished fifth at Spa. That which is amazing. Yeah, that, that's incredible. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's great. You know, it's been a tough, tough road, but. Uh, uh, I think, you know, I, I love this sport so much and, um, you know, I, I love competition and, and of course, you always have to, to have goals and targets and, of course, my goal and my dream is, is to get to F1 and, and that's why I think I, I work hard every day, but yeah. it's, um, it's not easy and, oh, um, but it's, uh, you know, it's not impossible, so uh, as long as there's a little chance I will go for it and and of course this year is going to be um, very important for me yes uh, because as well you know I'm uh, um, I'm in a very good team which is Carlin yeah tell me about uh, Carlin how, how how is working with Carlin uh, yeah it's you know it's a, a it's a great team they're in every single seater uh, championship except for F1 and mm -hmm. And IndyCar, so they're a really big team, and IndyCar doesn't. And they've work. they've been very successful in every championship, really. Yeah. So for me, you know, it's a big year because um, so far I've learned a, a lot from from them. I've I have really good people around me, so I'm sure I'm gonna yeah learn a lot. And and again, uh, well, I've started working with Susie Wolf this year as well. Oh, really? So, oh. She's my manager now, and uh, oh. and that makes it uh, you know even more special because she knows how it feels like to be a girl in this sport, and and uh, um, she knows I how to get there lots, too. Lots of things to to learn from her as well. Oh, absolutely! And actually, I'm glad that you brought up Susie Wolf because this is one of the th one of the things that actually made me pretty angry because at the so. At the start of the season, uh, when uh, when oh, a couple of races ago, when Bottas wasn't had his back problem or whatever, yeah, um, Susie Wolf was there, and they could have very well put her in the car, yeah, and they then they didn't, and, and and that's one thing that I and, and this is what I think that that, that is wrong, and, and 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 the people on the top aren't seeing is that they have these uh, the, these women drivers in, in, in involved in F1 in one way or another uh, so Lotus now has uh, Carmen Horda mm -hmm. and, and that we won't get into her <laughs> track record because she's uh, I don't know she's I don't, I don't know if she should be there but anyway but and she supports Eccleston's idea very openly oh my god yeah, there's been enough articles <laughs> anyway with her wanting this women championship it, so but but she's just as a development driver she's everybody yeah. knows like she's I think it's because she knows she's not good enough herself to compete with men <laughs> well it's like i don't know it might be easier but or, or not necessarily with both men but like at the but, top category yeah um so she's not gonna she's gonna she's not gonna make it into an uh, into an f1 seat no. um it, Susie Wolf, I thought that they th th that she actually had a real chance, and and with this Bottas thing happen, um, they 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 didn't put her in the car, and I and yeah, I that, was, that my was first thought. Yeah, I was like, I was like yeah, like, why don't oh, you get Susie, Susie in the Wolf's car? Like, be on the track. Yeah, no, th that would have been great, and I think that that uh, Williams missed an opportunity there, um, and 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 this is what uh, I mean, this is what we're counting on you for, uh, to actually make a difference, and and get into F one on skill 
and I think I, I think that you definitely you definitely can. And uh, I, I do remember one um, reading another article. Um, and actually, I, w I watched uh, Peter Windsor's channel on um, on YouTube uh, on YouTube. Um, and do you know who Rob Wilson is, uh, Tatiana? Uh, yes, I work very closely. Oh, you you worked with Rob. Um, yeah, yeah, I've, I've worked with him for for the last few years. That, he's a great guy. That that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, he's very knowledgeable. So this guy is he's he's an he's a very he's, he's an old old guy. Uh, he's uh, he's a trainer basically, mm -hmm. a, a driver coach in a way. But he's he's racing many many different categories through the years um mm -hmm. and and he's like he's coached like he's coached Bo uh, botas he's coached raikkonen he actually was one of the first ones who spotted raikkonen as a young uh um, talent coming in to, uh, through the series uh he coached as well uh juan pablo montoya he he, he did some coaching for montoya as, as far as i know so i uh, so I, i'm glad that you're working with him because I'm, i'm sure that he has all kinds of connections and 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 one of the things that that he said about you is that, uh, that, that you're a serious, serious racer? Oh, that's, uh, you know, I, uh, you have to give me the link because I have uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll send you a link. I, um, I, I, I have worked with him the last couple of years and I think he's a great, great coach. And, um, of course, you know, people, like having people like him or uh, Susie, uh, you know, supporting me and giving me all the advice uh, is what I need right now. To, yeah, for sure. For know, sure. To, to get those results and, and show that that I can be uh, the next. Uh, the next you. The next Susie Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> the next, um, well, hope, hopefully, hopefully you can do you better know, the than next she did. Girl. <laughs> yeah, so far. To jump into a Formula One, because uh, you know, if I if. I, if I if I get there, yeah. it's not when when just, you get there. I don't want to just you know uh, sit there and and say that I'm a, a development driver or or whatever. I I really want to have a chance. Otherwise, no, we we want you in a car. Yeah, yeah, sure. exactly. yeah. I yeah. want to be, be driving in that car. That's uh, you yeah. Know, you want to compete? That's my dream, and um, and hopefully I can you know. Uh, do do well this year to deserve that chance. Because because th th this year is. Uh I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put it bluntly, but this year is basically going to be a. It's it's a bit of a do or die year for you for you in in, in a way, because um, it's going to be your th your third year now in uh, European Formula Three, um, and. Uh, and it, it, at this point, like you, 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 so let me just go uh, back to just to recap here. Uh, the your career in Formula Three right now. I took some notes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you joined the series. Uh, when was it here? I, I got it here somewhere. Uh, 2011, right? Oh no, actually, uh, you. Uh, 2013. Oh, 2013. Sorry, yes, yeah. You, so you joined there, and you were racing for uh, um, uh, Double R Racing. Yeah, that's right. And you had the best. Your best finish for the year was a 17th uh, at the red, uh, the third race in uh, over there in Austria. Um, and oh, at the end of the year, you ranked 32nd uh, in the championship with zero points. So you, you went from you know with a, with a team that I, I don't know I don't know the reputation the reputation of double R but uh, so you you ended up at the, that year with zero points then came back um, 2014 and as far as as I know it was like a last minute thing that you switched to another team to uh, uh, when was it Joe Zeller racing is is that right like so it, it, it had to be done like very last minute <laughs> yeah that's right <clears throat> something about like they didn't even have the seat ready for you or something. Um, yeah, it was, you know, I finished my seat feed at 4 a.m. in the morning and we had practice at 9. Oh, my uh, God. Because oh, wow. uh, I, I was supposed to race with a new team, uh, Signature, okay. a French team. And uh, uh, they were, they had a Renault engine and Renault was just coming back to F3 and the engine was uh, was not performing <laughs> well in Enough. So we decided. Not, not to surprised. Not Renault. Really no. um, <laughs> yeah, Ren is having trouble. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> a little bit. Um, 
so so you so, so you you, you I came had back to switch sorry go ahead yeah i had to switch uh you know the day before oh my to God. the only place available which was was uh, for joe seller so but, it was a tough tough start of the season for me but but that's you know th these kind of tough decisions are, are the decisions that eventually are you, you're gonna need to make tough decisions when when you're when you're advancing through your single seater career but anyway let, let, and let me recap here for these guys because they didn't do their research as well as i did um <laughs> so for so, so 2014 last year um you started with joe zeller last minute Um, but you got that best finish of fifth at Spa, which is uh, we've been talking about it like since the since we started the podcast. Spa is like our all time one of our all time favorite tracks. And, to it. and what are there like thirty five competitors in the series? Yeah, how, how, yeah, how 30, many thirty five? How, how many? Yeah, how many guys are there? Uh, this year thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. So there's there, there's a ton of a ton of guys, and you got racers. fifth. Yeah, oh, a ton of racers, and, and and you got fifth at Spa. Um, after a bit of a bumpy start, because I'm I'm sure like getting getting used to the new team, getting used to to how they work, must have been a bit a bit of a you, you had to learn quick and then get used to everything, right? Yeah, that was a it was very very tough, and I think that's you know we had no practice because in this championship. Uh, testing is very restricted as well. Okay. So I was testing basically on on the race weekends. Uh, had no engineer in the first few races. Uh, oh so it was a tough one. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. But then, but then, to, to, to towards the end of the year, you, you uh, let me let me just do a, a, another recap here. So you finish in the point more than just that 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 fifth spot. You you finish th uh, tenth um, in the Norris Ring, uh, then an eighth in uh, the, in Moscow, then ninth uh, in uh, in Austria again, uh, ninth in the Nurburgring, actually nine and, and an eighth the next day at the Nurbur under under the Nurburgring again, then. And ninth at Imola and eighth at Hockenheim. So once you got all these little bugs sorted out, you were in the points consistently, pretty much, which is which is great to see. Uh, and, and 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 that is an attribute that 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 I think that separates like you know somebody that's trying and somebody that actually has a, a lot of potential is being able to demonstrate. Uh, you know, reliability and, and being consistent, being a consistent driver. Yeah, that's incredible. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Actually, I have, I have a question for you on that. Um, in one of the interviews uh, th that I watch of you, you said that that you look forward to every single race. And I mean, of course, I mean, why why wouldn't you? <laughs> you're, you you're, you're, you're racing a single seater car. But I looked I looked at the at the layout of the Norris Ring, and 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 uh, come on, <laughs> is that seriously a racetrack? What, what what do you actually think about the Norris Ring? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's very different to a track like uh, like Spa, definitely. Uh, I'm pulling it out uh, on a picture here so that so Danny can see it. Yeah, what? Like, is, <laughs> what the hell is that on the side of a highway yeah, or something? Um, <laughs> is that some that's train tracks beside it? I guess. Yeah. Is it like in a rail yard? In Earth. <laughs> How short yeah, is it? How long? Um, there's no scale on this. There's the, it's it's oh, two, two kilometers. Two kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh you know it's all, it's all about braking really and uh, um it's very bumpy over there but oh, it's right. uh it's like a rectangle you know of course it's not my favorite <laughs> <laughs> place to go but uh, um the atmosphere and the amount of people that go and watch that race is it's actually very very high so um Because most of the I year, that's why DTM keeps going there, and still, you know, with the with the straights, you you get yeah, to see some of, racing as speed. well. Um, but yeah, definitely, I'm looking forward to to Spa and uh, Po, which is uh, another street circuit, but very very nice. Uh, po like po, po is in France, right? Well. Sorry, Paul in France, right? Exactly. Yeah, Paul. Actually, for you guys that don't, that don't know, Paul is uh, the, the place where Grand Prix racing started. Period. That was the very, the Paul Grand Prix was the very first Grand Prix in the world. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's 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 a tip. <laughs> so you've been now three years on three new teams. 
three separate teams yeah well hey we hey let me let me get to 2015 i haven't gotten to 2015 yet <laughs> so i'm just gonna say like i, ju- I just i said earlier i started well before this interview started yeah. i just i started a new job on monday and you know like meeting like a dozen new people and like figuring out how does this work it's it's a bit weird but for a racing team and then oh my god you get there at 4 a.m and start driving five hours later <laughs> that's that's insane it, it's it's a dedication and then and, and, and uh, you 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 are i mean your your training regimen is is very intense from what i from what i read like you 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 you, uh, you don't just train for the races like you you just you train all the time you're like pretty much uh, training every day right something like 15 hours of every week uh, that's that's what yeah, i read I, I i enjoy training as well but uh you know to be honest uh if I don't, if I don't train that much, I wouldn't be able to to drive the car to to the limit because um, the F3 is is very tough physically because uh, we don't have power steering like Formula One. Oh wow! Um, Crazy. So it's the steering is really really heavy, and again we, uh, you know, I think the the, the Formula Three uh, has a lot of downforce mm-hmm. okay uh, it's how many g's really, do you get around a corner like top yeah uh, yeah that was actually one of the questions i wanted to ask i've driven um a honda civic before with no power steering <laughs> and i'm sure that's nothing compared to like the tires on it are they're like 13 inch uh <laughs> you know they're like four, four or five inches wide <laughs> they're, not, they're not sticky what's that yeah that, that would be nothing yeah so yeah, yeah exactly you, yeah you must get some pretty pretty crazy cornering g's i'm what, sure what are these cars weigh they have three cars uh it weights uh, 700 kilos okay close to honda uh, civic but <laughs> it's <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure it's harder to steer for <laughs> so it's uh, uh yeah you know you you i don't know for example um yeah silverstone mm-hmm. turn one which is flat out yeah that corner is intense speed is 200 oh my god 20 yeah. uh so the string is quite heavy at that speed <laughs> <laughs> and the g-forces too and uh yeah and the g and, and your neck and uh yeah. oh my god of course i think you know uh, formula one is is more about the neck and endurance yeah, that's what you hear and, all the time uh, and f3 you, we have shorter races uh but we don't have power steering and we still, still carry a lot of speed through the corner so the next two suffers not as much as f1 but but uh a fair amount so yeah that's why i you know i train really hard because um you know if there's a difference between girls and and boys in in this sport it may be the physical aspect but right. there's nothing that we can we can't fix you know i i just train a little bit more than than the guys yeah and i can i can cope with it <laughs> oh that's a fantastic attitude yeah. uh now another thing actually that's interesting that i read about uh, uh f3 is that okay so you get very like or very, very little if not if anything at all in terms of telemetry so so there's hardly any telemetry and it's, and, and that's to kind of force the, the drivers uh to be in tune with the car and actually like learn that aspect as well is that am i am i, am I right in saying that like you, you actually have to like n- know about the mechanics of the car a bit to, to be able to give the feedback back to the engineers yeah i think Definitely, Formula 3 is more similar to F1 because um, in the regulations you can touch uh, a lot of parts from, from the car, modify them, Okay. which in other championships uh, it's not allowed. Okay. So, of course, the, the feedback of the driver is very important for the teams to, to develop the car and uh, and that's why I think Formula 3 is... is a great um, series to do be, before or prepares you to to go to any other series because um, you, you you have to work really uh, really hard with your engineer uh, to get the mo- the most out of the car as well yeah uh, and um, 
and for sure I'm, I'm learning a lot of, of the technical side which in you know, other championships you you don't really get to to experience so so for an example say um you think the camber should be adjusted the suspension should be harder softer would you tell the engineers how much you think these adjustments should be or would you say like a little harder a little softer and they would try to just figure it out for you or like well, or what are the, how much input do the drivers have we it's not like i i tell my engineer hey i think i need more camber <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> for this and that corner I, I really say okay I've got uh, understeer okay. uh, in this and this corner and maybe if I remember from a different day that we tested you know they all, they, they tell you what, what they do when when you go out and test and they tell you okay we just uh, you know we put softer springs on the back so you should feel like you have more traction and mm-hmm. and let's see what that Affects on on other corners, or or if that makes it worse. So you you have an idea sometimes, and and you can tell the your engineer uh, uh, if if you have little time, like in qualifying, you know, if you stop for a quick change and you say, I think we should go softer uh, with the springs, because you got that feeling from before. For sure, that's gonna make his life a lot easier. But um, but we tend to to only say uh, okay I've got understeer and and the engineer's job is to decide which uh, which of the uh, areas because you, you can touch a lot of uh, different things to make to solve the problem hmm. uh, it's his job to to make that decision. Hmm. Cool. Okay. All right. So and and now, okay. So so we were we were stuck in last year. Now this year, um, you you went to Car- to Carlin or, or we, well, you are at Carlin right now. And and from another interview that uh, um that that that, uh, that I watch of yours, you were you were basically saying that you know what, if I don't get the right team to continue in F three, I might look into other options. Um, and 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 somebody was saying that maybe even GP three. What. Uh, so uh, am I right in understanding that uh, F3 is maybe a little bit uh, higher in terms of category than GP3? Like what, yeah, what would be the difference? Well, I think in the, there is more level uh, in the last couple of years uh, in F3 because, okay. uh, you know, in the last two years, uh, two drivers have jumped straight from Formula 3 to, to Formula 1. And right now, like there's 35 cars. Formula Three is a is a open, a bit more open championship mm-hmm. uh, in terms of regulation, so that the drivers can, you know, de- develop more and okay. you get more mm-hmm. track time as well. Because in GP3 you only get one practice of 45 minutes, and then two races. Uh, in F3 you get two practice sessions two qualifiers three races so three it's a races. lot more yeah. a uh-huh. lot more that you can learn okay uh, uh, so and I think you know the Formula 1 teams they're all watching Formula 3 because a lot of today's champions and current Formula One drivers have passed through there. Max Verstappen being one of them. Didn't he? So he, he won last year or something and, and then he went uh, right or the year before and he went uh, to, to, to F1 now and he's, he's doing a, a mighty job. But I have it from because I've seen it on YouTube that you made a fantastic pass on him. I, 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 it's on, it's on your, yeah, it's on your channel somewhere. And on, but I saw it on YouTube and I was like, this is awesome. So you could easily overtake him then when you, when you two were racing together and, and now he's overtaking people in F1. So that makes me think that this is why I'm sure that you should be there. You should be in F1. You're probably better than Pastor Maldonado. I tell you that. <laughs> probably. Come on. I'm, I'm probably better than and passed him out the night. <laughs> I've seen you've you've really done great research and you know I um I really enjoyed that that weekend and especially oh. you know that race because uh, of course 
everyone knew that uh, that that Verstappen was going to race in Formula One the the year after. So it also means a lot to you because uh, I mean it meant a lot to me because you know I'm I'm competing with F1 driver, so uh, that means I'm not far I'm not far away. Oh, I don't think That's you are. Right. I th- and, and and this is, this goes back to what I said before. So th- this has to be the year that um, you either, st- and sorry to put it this way, but you either start getting on the podiums um, and, 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 and then get noticed that way or, or not. And people are going to start wondering why. Um, so, so there's, I'm, I'm, I can't even, I can't even imagine the, the, the huge amount of pressure that you must be in, um, to, you know, internally and whatever, um, the, to, to be able to perform in that, in that, in that, in that way. But, um, I, this year you're, you're in the, in, in a team that, like you said, has, is, is right now. I mean, Carlin, for you guys, Sebastian Vettel came from Carlin, uh, wow. Nico Rosberg raced for Carlin, Bruno Senna, like they have a, a whole roster. Of, of of guys Kevin Magnussen Daniel Daniel Kvyat these guys have have all raced for for Carling in one or other of the of the categories and uh, Ricardo another Carling um, alum alumnus <laughs> <laughs> so so it, it, these guys are are now in F one or have been in F one um, so this is a team that actually has a good pedigree um and and this is a team that can make a difference uh i'm sure from 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 what you from from the way that you're the, the, that you're standing um and and actually give you the, the machinery and the and the expertise that you might need to, to to be able to achieve some some podiums this year am i right yeah definitely i think you know you're right this this year is is very important for me mm-hmm. and it's time to show what what a I can do and um, you know I've I've got uh, I'm very lucky to have you know to be able to to be with Carlin which is a great team I'm sure I'm gonna have a very competitive car to throughout the whole year uh, um, as I said I, I have Susie uh, helping me as well so I, I I need to take this opportunity with with both hands and grab it. And <laughs> yeah. hopefully, you know, you never know what what's gonna happen. But um, but yeah, definitely, my goal is to get on that podium mm-hmm. and uh, you know be consistent in in the top ten again. Great, that's that, that, that's awesome. Um, Tatiana, you're uh, you're in, are you in the UK right now? Is that is that where you, where you where you where you calling us from? In where, sorry? The, in in England. Yes, I uh, I moved a week ago actually. Oh yeah, no, you, you, you were in Madrid before, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. So so now 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 you're in the UK, obviously to be closer to the team and and whatnot. Um, it's uh, it's it's nearing on 10 o'clock over there i guess right now uh when i talked to your uh t- to your press person over email i said that that this was only going to last for 15 minutes well we've gone way over that <laughs> but i mean like uh, 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 i don't know what, what do you do like do, do, uh, do you want to hang out a little bit more I, I got a couple more questions if you're okay with that yeah yeah yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm having a really good time. <laughs> great, great. We are too. <laughs> yeah, th- thanks for calling, by the way. <laughs> Again, Taking time out of your Friday you. evening. I, I have, I, okay, because I, I, I uh, while I was, you know, uh, doing my research and whatnot, I stumbled upon something uh, really interesting. A- earlier this year, uh, <laughs> in, in February, uh, you were, you, you went to this thing in Cancun, the, the driver's challenge. How was that? I really had a lot of fun, you know. Um, I was invited uh, to to do this uh, new. They're, they're they're organizing this new championship with mm-hmm. a lot of uh, different drivers from Latin America, mm-hmm. and you know it it was quite a the best junior drivers, some may say. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> some of the best ones, and uh, and it was. Um, so we, we were competing in go karts and then in kart cross. Mm-hmm, okay. Which is, um, it's like go karts so in the I, mud. Uh, sorry. It's a kart cross. It's like go karts but in the dirt, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At this time, it was on the same track. Actually, oh, okay. Actually, that that the go karts. Um, 
So uh, <laughs> it was, you know, the the first go kart. I won the first race. Oh first no! Race. no wow. Ex excuse me, you schooled them. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw the end of that race, and I was like, "What? You were way ahead I, I, until like the very last lap or something." Some 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 kid there was trying to sneak up on you, but no way. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot yeah, of fun, yeah, actually. It was a close one, but um, yeah, it was you know a great start of the year, and and. You know, it's always great to to get back behind a, the you know to drive a go kart because that's that's where I started and yeah. and you know that feeling is still there that you know it it doesn't disappear and uh, and I was really happy to to really to win because it uh, you know it's oh. I I'm, I'm sure it's, it's it's great and it's, it's so, the card. <laughs> some uh, some F1 racers even say that uh, um, uh, karting is the purest form of motorsport. Oh, wait! Something happened. Uh oh, we oh, lost the internet okay, connection. Wait. It's 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 trying. It's trying to do it again. Uh, we lost oh, Tatiana Calderon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, get your back. We We're back. Yeah, Sorry about that. Or is that. It was is that it, Vodafone. <laughs> it was probably our internet connection over here <laughs> in the Great White North. <laughs> no, it's Vodafone. Um, anyway, no. What, what I was gonna say is that you know some even uh, some F1 drivers and commentators all say that you know it, it, karting is the purest form of motorsport because <laughs> everybody's in these li tiny little machines and you're just racing for the sake mm. of racing. I used to go when I was a little kid. My grandma took me a whole bunch to uh, the Centennial Park go kart track. It's pretty close to here. It's like a big, big track, but right. it's a lot of fun. I know. <laughs> I haven't been there enough. Actually, I went three years ago. It was the last time. It was a lot of fun, though. Yeah. I, but that's, I love it. Yeah, karting is just so much fun, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I would love to do that now. Like, I wish I had we time. Should, we'll, we'll go, the we'll, three of us. We'll go. We'll no, go. I want my own go-kart. <laughs> I wasn't saying together. <laughs> <laughs> no, like not not sit in the same car. Like I want to own one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, oh, let's buy go-karts. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Tatiana, going back to you. Um, I, I want to just finish off like uh, the, 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 this year in, in in F3 before I move on to another couple questions that I got um, I watched because uh, the FIA uh, was wonderful enough to put the first uh, three races uh, the races of the year uh, up online on YouTube they're there uh, they, they have a, they have a channel uh, and anybody can watch them so I watched the first three races uh, of this year at Silverstone um, Okay, actually, so do you, do you start at the same like on on the same pit straight that the F one cars do? Because I know that there's two pit straights in it, the old you, one and the new one. Use uh, the old one still. Yeah, we do. We we start on on the same. The new uh, the new one. In the new one, yes. All right. It, because see, it, and, and and this is something that I, that I saw. I was like, wow. So there's there's thirty something odd racers there and man the, 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 back all the way around the corner all right? the way around the corner yeah. that, that would like, be beautiful to see an f1 man <laughs> like and this is like from the moment that i saw that i was like this is awesome um, but also like terrifying uh, well <laughs> terrifying and, and it pretty much every, at every single one of those uh, first races or at least the first one there was an accident at the first corner <laughs> something like that the back guys are going 200 already <laughs> because it started at the back <laughs> yeah but Got a lot of 16 year olds joining the championship <laughs> these days <laughs> after Max first happened <laughs> yeah, I guess so so and know, it, it's a bit crazy on, on the first lap I, I bet and 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 and, and actually um, from from what I read I mean so you the, the races are not uh, are not too long they're uh, I guess 100 kilometers or 35 minutes whatever happens first Russia. something like that right yeah exactly yeah so that amounted a Silverstone that amounted to 18 laps yeah um, Silverstone's a long track it's yeah so big track. I, I mean there, there's there's not much that you can do in 18 laps from what I saw um, and even in the first race I, I, I saw you climbing up but there, there's just not enough time. So, so F three, just from that, I mean, you, you're you, you got to qualify pretty high to be able to to, to score on the podiums. There's a, there's a lot of pressure on your qualifying sessions, right? Yeah, definitely. 
you know, you have only 20 minutes, you have one set of new tires, and you have 35 guys <laughs> trying to find the right spot. Right. All right. On track to, you know, it's it's very tough because you have maybe two clear laps, and yeah. that's all you've got because then you've got traffic. You need space then, in front of you. You know, the, the peak of the tire, which gives you like four tenths, um, is gone. So okay. it's uh, very, very tough. And, and for sure, as you said, you know, you have to qualify well because the races are just too short and it's very difficult to overtake as well because we're all in that same pace. Like, like uh, <laughs> you know, there's maybe 25 cars in one second. Right. So it's, uh, it's a very tough to overtake. And for sure, that's something I, I really need to, to work on, my, on my qualifying and on finding that gap and that lap. And uh, it's for sure going to be the key to, to, to perform well. Mine in that that you're relying on Carling for that for some of that at least. Sorry. Yeah, you, you mentioned the, uh, the tire, like you get one set of fresh tires. Um, People might want to know. Do you you don't you don't start the race then on the qualifying tires like F1? Do you? The uh, same, yeah, we the do. same set. Oh, you do. St oh, okay. We do. We have um, you know we have two qualifying sessions. Right. And we have three sets of tires, and you always put one set in each qualifying, and then you have one set that you can use in 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 the races you want. So you because three we have three three races, so it's it's up to you to. To choose oh. whether you have you use half a set for one race, half a set for the other one, oh. and and then struggle and brand new, <laughs> in brand one of the races. Oh. Uh, so you get three sets for the whole weekend then. Exactly. And all all the same. Yeah, 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 all the same. And are they all the same for the whole season, or do they change compound depending on the track for? F no, we have we have the same compound. One for, set for right. every, every race. Yeah. Cool. Well, but it. Silverstone, let's put it that way. It, it was a rough weekend for you. You didn't, you didn't do. I mean, you, maybe not, not what you were expecting. Yeah, definitely a very tough weekend. Um, I think you know, I've, uh, Silverstone has always been a, a tricky, tricky track for me. Yeah, for everybody, I um, think. And times are, are were very, very close. You know, three tenths could could have put me P twelve in qualifying and I didn't get that lap done okay. and then everything just gets more difficult when you when you start at the back but mm -hmm. I think I've learned sure. learned lots of lots of things in, during that weekend where I really need to to work on to make sure I get qualifying okay. so I'm I'm pretty confident the next race which is at Hockenheim in two weeks right two yeah weeks. yeah yeah, I'm, I've done well there, and and I know what I need to do and what I need to focus on. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, I'm I'm gonna go flat out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you get the flat out fever. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna be rooting for you. Yeah. Oh, we are. We're definitely gonna be. And I, I'm. I, I for one, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna be watching uh, we'll the do races. Thing. We'll, let's do a thing. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do an, uh, a thing. We'll do a thing. We'll, we'll, we will do a thing. <laughs> um, I, okay, so that, 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 that is the action in F3 so far. Um, but what I also wanted to go through is that I, I find that the way that, that, that you even got into all this from the beginning is, is, is very, very interesting because your sister play, play, played a big part, right? She, she basically took you and was like, hey, hey go-karts are really fun. Why don't you come with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, she's, um, she's seven years older than me, um, but we've always done things together and and she yeah she just took me to to this rental uh, uh the rental cars and um and i loved it and and so we were there competing you know they they did a few championships uh on on the nights and on the weekends and we started winning that and and uh, and then my dad brought us uh uh, a go kart, and that's how it all started. But you know, it's it's always been um, something we we did in 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 family. Like, 
Uh, and, and that must have been very, very important. The, 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 the family support to you. Yeah, definitely. You know, they've always been there for me. Uh, uh, you know, when I when I graduated school, mm -hmm. well, I had to choose. You know, um, of course, my choice was always racing. Racing, <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're not that, that keen on, on on letting me do that, but um, you know, with with results, I show them that that I deserve a, a chance, and and that's why I'm. 100% focus on, on raising things thanks, thanks oh. to them. Oh, we, and we're very so. thankful to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Calderon that, that, that they <laughs> let you do this. <laughs> and, 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 it's, and, it's, and that's actually really cool because one of the things that we, that we actually were talking on, on the podcast um, on an episode that when, when the whole you know female drivers and stuff like that started being talked about in F1 uh, like a month and a half ago, yeah. one thing that I do remember saying is that, you know, it, it, the problem is that there just isn't that many female drivers period in, in, in the in the lower categories and and it's it's, it's got to be because in one in, in, in like a very very like instinctual level like it it, it it has to require a step from you as a dad to, <laughs> to 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 be able to say to to your little girl okay you can you can you can jump in this motor vehicle and and and, and it has to it probably has to do with like the same the same reason why i at 15 didn't really have a curfew but my sister three years older than me she still had a curfew you know what i mean it's like, that's and the family tends to be very very protective of 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 of, of the girls obviously that, that 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 that's the thing and 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 for for somebody to overcome that and and to actually encourage you uh, to, to race and to, I mean, motor racing is a dangerous sport. Yeah, uh, pulling two or three Gs, 220 at Silverstone. <laughs> yeah, it's, so I, and it's, it's, it's fantastic that they're uh, behind you. And I mean, I'm sure that it's very difficult for them because you're not living in Colombia. You haven't been for a while, right? Yeah, no, my third year away. Oh. Yeah, your, fam yeah. your family is all still in Colombia? Yeah, my parents are, and my sister is back in in Madrid. Okay, oh, yeah. she's so not studying, too far. Uh, finishing now. Okay, but yeah, it's it's tough because it's a long way away from home. Yeah. But um, but it's 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 worth the it's worth the risk. <laughs> uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, but of course, you know, I agree with you. It's uh, of course you you ask a dad if, <laughs> if he would live you know instead of a, a boy a, a girl and they would think more than you know like uh, yeah like if it's it, difficult for girls too <laughs> yeah absolutely and and but but you know it's it's fantastic and, and like you, i'm sure like you said like it, with the results that, that you had uh you, you proved them that you were on the right track and um going back to you and your sister racing um, I, I read that you guys together, you won uh, the Colombian endurance, uh, a Colombian endurance race or the championship or something. Yes, we did. That, um, endurance racing is honestly something that has fascinated me uh, for a while because it's, it's, it's got to be very mentally and physically taxing. How, how long were the races? Like six hours, 12 hours? Yes. Six hours was the longest one. Okay. And oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we it was two two hours stints. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, you know it's it's, uh, it's very tough, but very um, and very challenging because you know it, there's uh, a lot of different categories mm -hmm. and uh, cars going quicker than you, you being quicker than other categories. So it's um, it's a lot of fun and. Uh, and you know it was very special because we did it uh, as a team yeah and as a family and um and two girls so it was very special oh yeah that's, that's uh, beautiful and, and, and you and, and you love that from what from what i gather in, in your interviews you, you love being the one girl in the in a field of guys and showing them how it's done <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, That's, uh, you know it's uh, it's great when you beat them and and you see the, the faces and um, <laughs> I love that. And, yeah, I bet. And um, that's why you know there's there shouldn't be a Formula One uh, female series. It, it would 
there would be no fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, another thing that I found hilarious, uh, too, I mean, is that uh, you said that at one point when when the whole uh, motor racing career was becoming, a, 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 you know, more and more of a uh, of a reality uh, as, as, as a as a path in life that you were going to choose your dad basically told you you're not you're not going to go to nascar <laughs> if, if anything you're going to race single seaters <laughs> <laughs> yeah well he he i'm not a big fan of oval seater <laughs> but um you know it was uh because uh, i raced in star mass in the united states and i i did a few ovals and i didn't really uh like them that much they're boring. And uh, it was by the time that Dan Wildon, Dan Wildon got killed in, in Las Vegas that okay. my dad and I, we, we decided, okay, let's let's go to Europe because my dream has always been Formula One and and uh, let's, you know, let's let's try it. Good choice. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm so happy that we made that decision. <laughs> I bet. We are too, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. And another thing I wanted to ask you about uh, F3 is another F3 driver we've been following a bit is uh, Lance Stroll. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, um, I don't know, have you met him? Like, what do you think about him? I'd be, well, us being Canadians, <laughs> I think he's the one Canadian in there. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I yeah. raced against Lance uh, last year in the Florida Winter Series as well. Oh yeah. Uh, um, Which you won one one race. <laughs> yeah, I won. I won one of the races, and uh, you know, I think he's he's a very good driver. He mm -hmm. won the Formula Four Championship, um, and I think he will do very well this year. He's in a very good team as well in Prema Power Team. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got he's got very good teammates as well, so I'm sure he's gonna learn learn a lot and, and he's still very young. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know it's uh, I'm sure he's gonna do he's gonna do well. For, oh good but I mean oh. well, well, I think we've seen we'll a lot see. though in all forms of racing that age isn't all that important. In racing, you, you gotta you, you or 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 gender. I mean, you gotta let your skill do the talking. Really, I mean, it, it, yeah. it, 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 it is what it, what it what it comes down to. Uh, Mike, I've 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 seen you for a while wanting to ask a question there. Oh, um, I, I don't know. I, I a lot of questions I have are just about competition and and sort of what what I've sort of gathered from this interview so far is that how much you enjoy. Um, like skill in competition and like it's sort of honoring that and because of your gender not that it makes any difference but like you 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 absolutely let your skill do the talking and i, I found that to be uh a breath of fresh air in terms of like so i i'm very recent to formula one and i noticed there's a lot of talking people talk a lot yeah, there's uh, not as formula much one. well like nico rosberg yeah he's, not, like, he's doing he's letting his talking do the talking <laughs> <laughs> Not the right way to go. Uh, and I, and I, I think that's a, a, a breath of fresh air um, in terms. It's not really a question, but uh, I think that's fantastic in terms of uh, the sport and, and the direction it's going. Yeah, just sportsmanship in general. Totally. Totally. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it, it's, it's <laughs> uh, you, you're 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 very humble, Tatiana, and 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 we're we're glad about that because a lot of people that get into single seaters. We were discussing this. They, they, there's there's a lot of big egos in this sport for sure. Egos, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about that just before you called. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, you don't have to say anything about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Clearly, your ego is in check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything. Anyway, I mean, uh, so it's 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 past ten o'clock in, uh, in in London now. Um, I'm sure you have you got better things to do than talk to <laughs> to to the three of us. Um, but um, Tatiana, can we ask you for a follow up chat later in the year? Definitely. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. we, we, we want to check on your progress and, and, and see how everything is going and, you know, the road to F1. Sure. <laughs> no, I think, like, you know, thank you. Thank you very much for. I, I had a great time. <laughs> that's awesome. great. We had great. a great time, too. Um, yeah, us too. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Like, you know, anytime. Uh, cool. We keep in touch and hopefully with good 
good news. <laughs> of course, of course, <laughs> of course, or, uh, or bad ones, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah. Listen. I'm be here. Obviously, congrats on your success so far. Yeah. Good luck going forward. And I'm sure you got it. Uh, we'll we'll send you the uh, or uh, to, to 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 your press officer. We'll send the once the episode comes out. We'll send him the link and all that. Um, other than that, I mean, you know, be safe. Uh, <laughs> keep all four wheels on the track and uh, keep keep showing the guys how it's done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we speak soon then. Alrighty. <laughs> Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.